Performance and battery optimization have always been a huge hurdle for Windows laptops, especially compared to their rivals with their in-house chips. If you know, you know. But the chip manufacturers for Windows laptops have since upped their game, especially after AMD joined the WhatsApp chat. How much, you ask? Well, in my hands, thanks to Asus, we have the Asus ZenBook S16 UM5606W. Wow, that's a mouthful. Which moving forward, we will simply refer to as the ZenBook S16 or just simply S16. Our unit is top spec, rocking the latest AI chip from AMD. And uh, for those who helped the opinion that AI was just a bubble that was waiting to burst, <laughs> no. It's in hardware now. You're joking about that, right? AI is here to stay. It is the future. So, has Asus and AMD finally helped Windows laptops over the performance and battery hurdle? Let's find out. Ah. Asus have definitely put their best foot forward in terms of design. Oof! Available in Zumeya Grey and Scandinavian White, the packaging is top-notch, especially with the cover lid that has undergone what Asus calls the seraluminum process. Is it seraluminum or seraluminium? I don't know. This high-tech technique transforms the aluminum lid into plasma ceramic aluminum, enhancing wear resistance, corrosion, protection, hardness, and lifespan. It feels polished, and the matte textured finish is a delight to touch. It also features a unique geometric grille design for better air intake. Asus claims that since the air holes are so small, they can protect the device in case you spill a drink on it. I won't tempt fate though. Coming in at just 1.5 kgs, which is mind-blowing for a large 16-inch laptop. The Asus ZenBook S16 is impossibly thin at around 12 millimeters, just a tad thicker than some of our smartphones, yet sturdy. You might think that Asus cut some corners to achieve this sturdy design, but no! The device still has dual fans and a vapor chamber to keep it running cool. And we've come to expect this kind of craftsmanship from Asus over the years, as it has churned out insane ultrabooks. The S16 is a testament that Asus is not yet done producing such thin yet strong laptops. With a device as thin as the Asus ZenBook S16, it is easy to assume that performance would be affected due to thermal issues, but that is not the case here. There is just a nice fluidity in how tasks are executed on the ZenBook S16. Apps, especially browsers, open as soon as you click on an icon and the fans don't kick in often. The performance is driven by the 2.0 GHz 12-core AMD Ryzen A9 HX370 processor coupled with 32 gigs of onboard LPDDR5X7500 memory, a 2TB PCIe NVMe M.2 SSD, and a dedicated neural processing unit that can run up to 50 tops. The hardware does an excellent job in balancing power and efficiency. This is one laptop that has versatility written all over it. It can't be boxed into creative works or gaming or productivity usage, such as emails, document editing, social media use, and content watching as its primary use case. With a dedicated NPU, the ZenBook S16 ensures that all AI inputs are processed locally and smoothly. Asus has taken advantage of this by including their own AI apps, which I won't dive into right now, but are worth exploring for your specific needs. On top of that, the ZenBook S16 comes with a dedicated co-pilot key that summons a chat window for ordinary prompts anytime you want. It's like a shortcut to remind you that you have an AI assistant whenever you need one, but it's limited to that for now. You'll notice I said for now, right? Well, that's because the ZenBook S16 requires an update to achieve Copilot Plus PC status. All Copilot Plus PCs are AI PCs, but not all AI PCs are Copilot Plus PCs. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Copilot Plus PCs require a minimum NPU of up to 40 tops. And here we have an NPU of up to 50 tops. A free update is expected sometime in November, activating Copilot Plus PC, which will come with a whole lot of other Asus AI apps and enable it to run Windows Recall, Live Captions, and Co-Creator, among others, with a 78 watt hour battery that fast charges with certified power delivery chargers, including the 65 watt charger supplied, 
The ZenBook S16 provides all-day battery life in energy-efficient mode for productivity tasks. USB-C Easy Charge allows the S16 to be charged with a wide range of standard USB-C chargers from 5 to 20 volts, matching the connected adapter's power output if it's a power delivery charger. All this on a laptop as thin as this, where in most cases battery size is often the reason why most laptops are bulky and thick. But considering the chip is energy efficient, the heat output is minimal, and rarely do the fans kick in aggressively, these efficiencies are probably why Asus has been able to keep this device so thin, which speaks volumes about their design skills. The story of Asus Lumina OLED screens continues to unfold, but so far, nothing but excellence has been exhibited. The 16 inch 16 by 10 ratio 3K screen capping at 550 nits of brightness has 100% DCI P3 color gamut, which means you can enjoy gaming and video content. And for us creatives, it means it can be used for professional color grading work without the need to calibrate the screen. The stellar image quality, inky blacks, HDR content viewing support, up to 120Hz refresh rate, and OS, the touchscreen and pen support. With the Asus Pen 2.0, visual artists and photographers can easily and quickly touch up their work with the pen, which can be charged through a Type-C port, bringing all the pen features, including applying more pressure for a thicker line. The only downside is that the screen is neither a 180 or a 360 degree screen. The two-in-one functionality of a tablet would put the touch screen and pen to good use. And the screen does wobble a bit when scribbling on the display as it's not back supported, as opposed to if it were on a flat surface. Now, ever since I started reviewing Asus laptops, there is one thing that I have always complained about. Yep, the ports. And on a laptop this thin and light, I have nothing to complain about. <laughs> it has all the essential ports. Two Thunderbolt ports that support up to 40 gigabytes per second data bandwidth and power delivery, one full-sized HDMI 2.1 port, one USB Gen 2 Type A with up to 10 gigabytes per second, an audio jack, and my proudest of all, a full-sized SD card slot. Asus, you listen to me. <laughs> you listen to me. And then, interesting thing is, I can connect up to three monitors on this laptop to efficiently enjoy my workflow. What not to love? In terms of audio, Haman Kadon did not come to play this time, as the S16 is equipped with six speakers that support Dolby Atmos. They are excellent for media consumption and, dare I say, for high quality audio mixing on the go. Oh, yes! They get loud, have a punchier bass range, and basically gets the job done better than the competition by miles. The trackpad on Asus laptops, oh, it's another gift that keeps on giving. You find yourself thinking that there is nothing left for Asus to experiment on on the trackpad as far as special features are concerned, then boom! They give you a 40% larger trackpad than the 2023 model with smart gestures, such as increasing screen brightness, adjusting volume, forward, rewind, and adding their own app shortcuts like Screen Expert. The gestures work as advertised, and for those who might not find this useful, they can still use the physical keys for brightness and volume. You'd expect a 16-inch laptop to have a numpad, but this one doesn't. I like it this way personally, as a numpad would squeeze the keyboard space. However, I would have loved if the extra space on the side had additional speakers. Not that I'm complaining, as the existing ones are really excellent. The backlight is also very bright, and you might need to turn it off indoors if it's too much for you. In terms of typing, you will feel right at home regardless of your previous keyboard. The keys have more than sufficient travel, they are well spaced, and have that tactile feedback that you would get from standalone keyboards. The only new button here is the co-pilot one next to the navigation keys. You won't hit it accidentally once you get used to the layout. There is no fingerprint scanner embedded in the keyboard, and the power button is also part of the F row, but chances of hitting it accidentally? Slim to none. Other features include a sharp full HD webcam that comes in handy for online meetings, and an infrared sensor for Windows Hello that works like a charm, making it probably better better than a fingerprint sensor. The laptop locks itself as soon as it detects that you've walked away, which is good for security, and logs you back in by scanning your face when you return. These are very tiny system settings that make your experience of using the ZenBook S16 laptop that much better. In conclusion, this is a darn good laptop. The pinnacle of Windows Premium craftsmanship with excellent lifestyle features. 
It is priced at a premium price point of 275,000 Kenya shillings, but it offers features that are somewhat future-proof, especially with the dedicated NPU and AI processing capabilities. But we can't definitively guarantee future-proofing with tech now, can we? What we can guarantee is if you meet the price point, you have more than a laptop to work and play. You have an AI-capable device that is a workflow assistant and a gorgeous head turner. This is definitely a laptop that you need to see and hold in person to appreciate how gorgeous it is.